Good morning, friends, followers, subscribers, and my army of Trevorites, 156,200 of you. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Mm -hmm. But if you're watching this video right now and you've not yet subscribed, why not? It's free. Only until YouTube implement a fee for people to watch, and that may be coming in the near future. I'm just saying. Right, people, I'll start off by saying I do read the comments. And yesterday, one of my subscribers said that... Trevor, can you turn off the lights on the tree? It's flashing and it's distracting and this and that. Well, the thing is, people, I have turned them off just for this video, but it won't happen again. I'm just going to point this out. If there's things in my videos that flash, you don't need to watch it to listen. Just turn the camera and you can listen to my rant. For fuck's sake, people, it's a Christmas tree. Right, in my house, I have my lights not on flash. I don't know how to do it. This is Gwen's tree, by the way. Everyone keeps saying, I love your tree, Trevor. It's really, but this is Gwen's tree. This is not my tree. Yes. But I have watched your, um, I have watched your reactions and I've been reading a lot of your comments. Yes. And I will get to them in a second. When I was in Budapest, I tried to buy a uh, Christmas ball ball for the tree. Like, like this, like this. I wanted one that said Budapest on it. Right. Oh, look, there's Susie. For those that are saying, where's Zeus? There's Zeus there. Little Susie, see him? Little Susie. Anyway, listen, it's the principle. It's not the cost, it's the principle. So I was willing to buy one for my tree. I was going to get one for, truthfully, one for my ex-wife's tree, one for Gwen's tree. I don't, I don't mind bamboo ball balls, three of them. But I had to put the foot down and say, no, I will not be ripped off. Because they wanted to charge £16 for one ball ball, same Budapest, Budapest and little, the ball ball looked lovely, but 16 pounds for one Christmas decoration, it's a take. Do you know what I mean? That's nearly 50 quid for three ball balls. And I, I, I won't do it. Uh, is it ball balls? I think so. So I didn't get them. I would rather not be ripped off. Uh, and I think, no, anyway, didn't get them. So here we are back in Felix though. Heading home in a minute. I'm going up, before I go home, I'm going to go to, I'm gonna to go to Aldi and get a couple of drinks. Do you know you can get six tins of like Coke, but different flavors, six tins for like one pound, one pound 59 for six tins of juice. I usually buy three packs, unpack them, put them in my little fridge and they come in handy throughout the next week or two weeks when my son's thirsty. He doesn't drink normally drink lemonade, but there is the odd occasion. I try and not give him any acids in his teeth. Yeah. Any, Going off on a tangent here. Right, so, the news. January, we're going to find out a lot of things in the UK. January, they're sitting in the Commons to debate the Rwanda, the Rwanda scheme. And it looks like a lot of Tories, yep, Conservative Party members, are going to rebel against the Rwanda plan. Now, I'm not into politics. Uh, I, In fact, you know what? I joined UKIP about two months ago, and I'm sticking with them. I honestly believe that if the Tory party go against the Rwanda plan, this is true, they're dead. The Tory party are dead. It's the Tory party who have ruined the country. Whether you like it or not, people, I know Labour are a bunch of shits. So is the Tory party. Both parties together combined have ruined our country. Considering they're meant to do what's best for the country, none of them have a brain. They're making bad decisions. They're throwing away our money. They're destroying the streets. I mean, London is a joke. London's probably the worst city in the world right now. Um, with And that's all because of the London mayor. And you're thinking, well, why do they keep voting him in? Well, if you keep flooding London, if you keep flooding London with refugees, asylum seekers, and economic migrants, and the London mayor and the Labour Party are supporting it, they're always going to vote for Sadiq Khan. You're not going to get rid of him. Wait till Jeremy Corbyn gets in, if he gets voted in London mayor. It'll be like Moscow. Anyway, which probably isn't a bad thing. Um, right, so that's happening. They're going to debate the Rwanda plan in January, in the new year, and I think it's going to be cancelled again. We've already given over 100 million to Rwanda, and if I could, I'd probably go live there myself. You know, no taxes, no shit. Yeah, a better rebel. Just pay somebody to keep the, just pay a couple of people with AK-47s to keep my property safe, and I'd live a peaceful life. Right, and now where are we? What's happening? Um, a farmer. We're reading in this this morning, and it's really, really pissed me off. A farmer. A 
farmer has escaped jail. He didn't even get jailed. Ready? He got eight months suspended sentence for two years. Eight months. I'm going to be honest. A suspended sentence is just like a slap on the wrist. I don't even know why judges give out suspended sentence. It's pathetic. Um, suspended sentence. Eight months suspended sentence for two years. I just think it's pathetic. Do you, do you want to know what he did? He tied his beautiful husky to the back of his car and he dragged it to its death. And it died of its injuries. He then dumped the body of his dog. And I think it's cruel. Uh, in fact, uh, he was named, uh, his name's Kim, Kim, it's a bloke, Kim Norman Rendell, 65-year-old man, farmer. Um, anyone that kills an animal is disgusting, scum. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I'd love to tie Kim to the back of my car, if I had a car. <laughs> I'd tie the back of someone's car and drag him down the motorway. Um, disgusting. He took a little dog's life. I am disgusted. How do you not get jailed for that? How can you tie an animal to the back of your car and, and drag it to its death and the police going, oh, eight months to spend sentence, don't let that happen again? Well, of course he's not going to let it happen again. He's already done the deed. The poor animal's dead. It's disgusting. Farmer. Most farmers love animals. I just find it, I find it heartbreaking. I find it disgusting. I'd love to meet him just to slap his head off. He's the type of person that I would kick and kick and kick until my ankles broke. Anyway, there we go. Nasty, nasty man. What else is happening? Uh, what have I got here? Uh, I do write down some of the messages you send me and I put them here in front of me. I have got here, uh, oh yeah, staff at Sandringham. Mm, apparently they're annoyed, they're unhappy that King Charles has made a decision this year to invite Camilla's children and grandchildren to the festive holidays. Staff are annoyed. I'm going to be honest with you. If staff are annoyed and they're letting little things out to the media, sack them, Charles. Sack them. At the end of the day, if, if, your, wife, if, if your wife wants to invite her children to a Christmas dinner and it's upsetting the staff, then you've got the, you've got the wrong staff. Sack them. Give them a P45 and tell them just to fuck off. We don't want you. This is my wife and her children. I don't understand why staff are getting so upset. I'm sure you're on good money at Sandringham, first start. Mm. It's quite sad that that story even made it to the paper. All it does is send a post-it note to the narcissistic witch in America. Mm, we, can, we, can, we can make a story from this, can't we, Harry? <laughs> yeah, we can, can't we? <laughs> yeah. What else have I got here? Uh, what's this here? Yes, Paddy McGuinness, we know. No likey, no lighty. No lighty, no likey. Well, whatever it is. Paddy McGuinness, who was made famous by Peter Kay from Max and Paddy, he's come out with this statement. Is it a statement or he's just a away comment? He says that he was once out in a nightclub with Prince Harry and Prince Harry ripped a poster of the Queen off the wall because he said, I do want Grandma watching me when I'm partying. I mean, that sounds like... This is... That's, if Paddy McGuinness, if that is true, truthfully... It just puts the cap on the bottle that we realise the guy's a nutter, a mental nutter. It really is. There we go. And, by the way, it's all coming out, isn't it? Yes. So, whenever we seen the, um, throughout the year, we noticed the, remember the Harry and Meghan Netflix documentary came out? I'm sure we all do. It was everywhere. <laughs> I now believe that Harry and Meghan paid companies to promote that show to make us all think it was a hit. It's a hit. Number one Netflix, number one Spotify, number one podcast, Archetypes, it's beaten Joe Rogan. Everything was a lie. It just goes to prove people that we cannot believe the mainstream media. We cannot believe any of the broadcasters on TV, unless they're GB News. We cannot believe what they're saying. Loose women this morning, they're all Lorraine, they're all full of shit, a lot of them. They're all nonsense. Archetypes, number one. Oh, this here, the... It's all a lie, because then you know what happens? They put that everywhere. Number one, number one, number one. Oh, Netflix, number one, number one, number one. And we all fell for it. And we went, oh, it's number one. Let's go and have a look. Because eh? if, if people are telling you something is number one and you haven't seen it, you're always a bit curious. Maybe I will flick over and see what it's like. 
Their lies and campaigns made us all flick across to see what it was like. And that's where they got their view in from from because no one was interested in their bullshit. But guess what? Remember Spotify came in and said, we're dumping them. Uh, they haven't been, they, they, the viewing figures have been terrible. They, they weren't number one. They lied. Well, guess what? Netflix have just released their top 10 shows throughout the year, 2023. Top 10 doesn't even include Harry and Meghan documentary. The top one show had over 800 million, 800 million viewing hours watching it. 800 million. Then you have ones like 400 million, 500 million, 300 million. Ready? 200, 250 million, 275 million. Outside the top 10. Ready? Not even in the top 25 of the shows was the Harry and Meghan documentary. Which means they lied about how popular the show was. It turns out that only 60 million watch stars of the show, and to put that into context, when you're thinking 60 million watch stars, put that into context. That means, look at look how many people are in the UK, 66 and a half million. Well, it turns out, when you look at it this here, only one million people tuned in to watch each episode. which works out at 10 million watch stars for each episode, 1 million people watching it, times 6, because it was 6 episodes. 10 million watch stars for each one, times the 6 shows, 60 million watch stars. It's like 1 million people watching, 1 million people watching the whole 6 episodes. Hmm, just goes to show you, it? Always check things, always look at things. But the problem we have today is whenever the likes of me or Fiona or Neil Sean or the body language guy, the Royal Rogue or Sue Smith, whenever we look into things and we delve into things and we try and find out, the Sussex cult says, oh, conspiracies, they hate Megan and Harry, they hate... No, we just like to get rid of the bullshit and give you the facts. Well, people, listen, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for enjoying my little... Uh, my little uh, YouTube show. Have a wonderful day, people, and stay safe and look after your animals, dogs and cats.